In this episode of Moi TV, I'm sharing five clever ways you can hack any headshots photographer's pricing, including my own. This is how to get the best deal possible on your next headshot session to make sure that your headshots dreams become headshots results. If you don't know me yet, hello, I'm Laura Perman, and I have an international headshots photography business called Laura Perman Photography. Welcome to Moi TV. I release a brand new video here every single Friday. You want to make sure that when you do subscribe to the channel, you hit the bell and that means you'll be notified when a new video comes out each week. If you've always wondered how to get the very best deal on stellar headshots, then this, my darling, is the episode for you. Before we get going though, I wanna make this abundantly clear. I am not talking about using a discounting app, which ultimately devalues the skills of any professional photographer. No, no. We're not talking about that. By the end of this video, you're gonna have a much clearer understanding of why professional headshots photographers like me price in the way that we do. This information will help you see the five clever ways that I'm recommending today for you to get a really good price on your headshots the next time you're ready to update them. I've had my own headshots photography business now for eight years. It took me a long time to understand the art behind pricing. And it's actually something I think a lot of creatives avoid. For at least five years now, I've been a passionate devotee of pricing with packages. I'm gonna be lifting the lid on that today and explaining why I love using them so much. Let's begin then with my love for packaging. So when you understand the curation aspect that goes into making a package, you unlock the real joy that there is behind pricing. Any creative entrepreneur will have a clear cut workflow of how they prefer to work. And they do things in a certain order because that's the way that they've honed their creative skill. When you mess with that workflow as a customer, you're asking the creative to deliver something that is the same level of quality, but in a very different way. And that can feel very illogical to a creative. And that's where the beauty of pricing comes in. So when I got my head around this little story, I was able to unlock real pricing joy in my business. My preferred way of working with any headshots client is basically to deliver the most complicated and in-depth service I can. And that is now called the Full Shawami Headshot Service. Now, I worked with a sales specialist all those years ago when I started working with packaging, and that's what she got me to do. She got me to describe my preferred way of delivering headshots. Big smooches going out right now to Victoria Fleming from Buzztastic. She was the specialist that helped me. You should 100% go and connect with her on LinkedIn if you want to learn a little bit more about pricing things in the right way for you. So from the point of the full Shawami headshot service, we worked together for a long time to slowly take away certain aspects of the service in order to give something that was delivered in a lot quicker way, but also something that could be priced lower. And it's from there that I came up with my four main services. And this is what nailed it for me. Starting with everything I wanted to do and then slowly taking things off was a way for me to get my perfectionist brain around it. Around it. So we went from the full Shawami headshot service, which realistically takes about a whole month from start to end to deliver, and we cut things out in order to make sure that we could create the Shawam headshot service, which can be delivered no quicker than three weeks, and then back again to the quirky branded headshot service, which can be done in just under two weeks from start to end, all the way back to my turbo headshot service, which can be delivered within a week. You can access all of my package information through this link here. If you go on this page, you will see the latest collection of my headshot services. Scroll down here and then type your email address in like this 
and I will send you a copy with all of the information you need. So taking on board that a set of headshots photography prices curated in a package have been very well considered is actually my first tip on understanding how to hack a professional photographer's headshot pricing. Exploring the details given in each of these packages is going to give you a really solid understanding of just how well they've been curated. You're going to be able to tell if their services are any good by taking a look at the detail of their packages and their styles of service. Sure, you might not be able to see the price on every photographer's website, but just take in the detail that they share in the way that they deliver each of their headshot services, and that's gonna give you a good understanding of how well considered their packages are. The next step on from that is actually opening up a two-way conversation with a photographer to really get a solid understanding of why their packages have been built in the way that they have. Don't just jump in and try and cut creative corners, especially when you don't understand a professional photography process. You're always gonna be able to save so so much more money when you work with a photographer who has already gone out of their way to figure out how they can cut all of the creative corners and deliver you a cheaper headshot service. When you've had a conversation with them and you've been very open about exactly what your budget is, they're going to be able to explain the subtle differences between their packages and recommend which one you should go for that fits your budget in terms of price. Number two on hacking pricing is to shoot outside of season. Most professional photographers have peaks and troughs in their business throughout the year. For instance, if you're a wedding photographer, it's no surprise that you're gonna be a lot more busy in wedding season, which is usually the high point of summer, July and August. As a headshot photographer, I find that my business matches the peaks and troughs similar to an academic calendar. So I'm really busy just after summer when all of the kids have gone back to school and I stay quite busy in the autumn time. Then things drop right off when everyone takes a break for the winter time and things tend to pick up a little bit in spring into early summer. It's not very common for people to be in the right headspace to think about their headshots when we're in the height of summer. Usually people are switching off at that time of year to go on vacation with their family. Now you can use this knowledge to your advantage in two ways. You just need to go out and find a headshots photographer who you really like and then stay in touch with them over the course of the year. You can usually do this by subscribing to their mailing list or following them on social media. They'll let you know on social media or by email as soon as they've hit a quiet spell by telling you that they're taking last minute bookings at a bargain rate to try and fill up their quiet schedule. Here at Perry HQ, I use my Annals and Apertures mailing list to do just that. I would much rather give away my time at a reduced rate to somebody who's followed me and who understands my style and we can get on a little bit better than if they were a total random. <laughs> You can join this list yourself by following the link that I'm going to put down here in the show notes or you can head over to laurapairman.com forward slash annals dash and dash apertures. Just scroll down here, pop your email address in and I will be in touch with you soon. What you might not know about headshots photography pricing is that it's always primarily informed by time. This means the time it takes to do the shoot, the time and cost of travel, but more importantly, the time fee incurred by photography suppliers like stylists, makeup people, hairdressers, and on and on and on. You can take advantage of this by splitting the cost of these overheads with a small group of biz besties. I've shot headshots in this way a few times with closely knit groups of people who are not in direct competition with each other, but they network regularly or they're just biz besties and they get on really well. Usually when you work in this way, you will each individually pay for the style of service that you want from the photographer, but the photographer will split all of the flat overheads among the group and um, that will be increased if there's a smaller amount of you and it will come down if there's a larger amount of you. But obviously, if there's a larger amount of you, there's gonna be less time. Another way to make a huge saving on your headshot session is to book very, very far in advance. 
This works especially well when you want to work with a headshots photographer like me who has a seasonal approach to the way that they do their pricing. I have a small group of very loyal clients who book me in a cycle and it's usually six months if not a year ahead of when they actually want to do their next headshot session. The bonus here is that they lock in a reduced price because they know that my prices are probably going to go up as the seasons progress but another great thing about this is that they can then split the cost of their headshots over the months leading up to their shoot so this becomes a very small monthly overhead as opposed to one big huge investment ready in advance of a headshot session. It's great for cash flow and it's great for idea generation and coming up with really good creative that has been very well considered over the elongated period of time running up to the headshot session. Why don't you comment below right now and tell me which pricing hack you're going to be using next time you book headshots. You may not know this about me but before I niche down into the world of headshots photography I cut my teeth and then earned my stripes in the world of portraiture photography. Pricing in this world rests heavily on the after sales and in many cases the after sales bit was the bit where you could turn a shoot into a profitable shoot. Because this type of formula is so old fashioned it's something that we learn when we're training in college as photographers and that then means that this style of pricing has an effect on lots of different types of photographers, not just the portraiture world, not just the headshots world, but all the way through the different industries that you see in photography. So really think long and hard before you book any time with a photographer, what it is you're actually gonna need at the end of your service. Is it a giant frame on a wall? Is it a portfolio of images that you can physically touch and take to castings? Is it five bazillion digital files? really do you really need all of the digital files or actually are you more inclined to probably make really good use of 25 files when you spring these things on a photographer after your photo shoot you are basically throwing a sledgehammer into their schedule and they're going to charge you a hefty price for that also they are then going to have to work with last minute overheads from their suppliers which they then have to pass on to you now before you go anywhere don't forget to subscribe. Mwah.